All right, hi folks. Welcome to another um, um, Gwent video. I almost said Mini Master video, <laughs> which I'm going to do soon. Um, so I'm going to make this one kind of a short one, but um, Freddy Babies, one of the guys um, I watch Gwent videos on, he had this really good um, all devotion Northern Realms uprising list. And uh, so it uses Amphibious and Salt, but uh, since the deck runs um, the Smoke em Outs and uh, some the uh, Frigates, these that spawn soldiers, he also runs Elephant because it boosts to like 16. It's like a um, 16 point play for 12 provisions, pretty good. And then I don't know if he figured it out himself or uh, if he just saw somebody that. Um, did the combo and put it in the stack, but um, Amphibious and Salt used with a card that somebody rarely plays, uh, the Kida Weenie Knights is a 12 point play. So it's almost as good as the, um, you know, doing the Redea. So, um, and all those uh, decks I just did for Northern Realms, I'm going to put these Kid Winnie Knights in, so maybe after the games I'll just go and show you the, the deck changes real quick to the other decks. Um, let's see. So, then it also, um, since it's Devotion List, runs um, Varaxis Prince, and he's a um, he's the evolution card for Northern Realms. And so, you know, he starts off as this base thing where you can reset somebody's ability. Um, and then he starts transforming where he gets formation. So he gets a plus one or a haste when he comes down and he can order ability and give it zeal. And then he gets veil formation order. And then he also boosts soldiers on his last, you know, evolution. And then, um, then, you know, these are kind of like the usual suspects. Um, she's kind of um, spicy. This is another card he puts in that, uh, you know, most people won't use. But what's cool, she boosts a unit by five. And then um, when you play Northern Realms unit, you give it zeal. So that works with, um, you know, um, the Prince. You can give him zeal or... Bloody Baron, yeah, any of your guys that have order abilities, like, you know, Prince Endies, and um, also your War Elephant, and then um, he runs a couple Boiling Oils for removal, because you don't have, um, unfortunately, since you're all uh, Northern Realms Devotion, there's um, not a lot of clean thing. like, you're, you're very subtle poison in this list, too. Um, and then, um, the other big card that he adds is these, um, Cracked Marines, and, um, so they're like a seven point play for four, because they'll, um, they have three power themselves, but then they'll boost the enemy by four, because you're, you got full devotion to Northern Realms, you have all Northern Realm cards in your deck. And what sucks about this list, too, is you can't run a Bomb Lobber, but um, it really, really puts out the points, man. Um, and this uh, Kidwani Knight um, Amphibious Assault combo is just off the hook. It's a 12-point play. So, like Rodea, making your whole deck, like, single singleton to player is a 13-point play. So, that shows you how powerful that, card, that combo is. Um, so, anyway... I will show you um, a gameplay with it. And then I'll go through all the other Northern Realms decks and, and change out. Put On the ones that aren't um, Singleton, I'll put two Kiwani Ko Knights in. Because I think I have Amphibious Assaults in all the units. And then for the two that are Singleton, I'll take out a card and put the one Kiwani Knight. He only ran one in his version, but I thought it was so powerful that I uh, end up running two. I respect nothing human. So this this 
He might have poison since he's a, you know. Let's see. Wow. So we have like every good card in the book here. It's actually kind of cool with a. Uh, Void here. I actually kind of like this. I think I'm just going to keep this. Seems pretty powerful. He starts it. Got business for me. Ooh, so I don't really have a good answer to that. Oh, he's for any traps, huh? Tamaria has yet to speak its last. Poison that guy. So he's running a buttload of poisons, it looks like. Double hollow! Uh, some kind of dwarf deck. I guess I'll just finish the job here. Definitely like a gourd deck type thing. Okay, that's a pretty powerful card. Though trees live longer than humans, they need protection from them. We must trust each other. So, this seems pretty good. Sintra will rise from the ashes. How many poisons does he got? That is the question. We can do this all day. Onward, right head. You think that's going to say that? Not without good reason. Hold the stern.
Hmm. Oh, day long. So that was a very costly round one, but we uh, won it. <laughs> I guess we might as well just push him for round two, right? We got the frigate and we got this guy. Sounds good, and a blue bear. Well, let's push him all the way. I got a 12 point play. For King and Honor! CVS, two poisons. Kayadwell and Shay. Fight well. <laughs> I don't know if that means he's giving up or what. It sounds like it. Uh... <laughs> Let's see if he's got a 20 point play here. See, so this deck just puts out points, as you can see. So that's probably the, um, like, trust me, I played a lot of games with it last night, <laughs> like, four or five. It's a uh, really, really powerful man. Um, so I definitely highly recommend it. Very, very powerful. Like, it puts out a lot of points. Like I said, the only weaknesses to it, it's weak against poison. But as you saw, I just played against a big time poison deck with traps and poison cards and, and just crushed it in points. And then it's also weak against, um, uh, you know, like scenarios, but you pretty much like from the gameplay I saw in the Freddy games too, is like you outpoint the scenarios. So, um, you know, you don't have the bomb heaver for the scenarios though, or the, that new legendary card. All right. So the decks that I'm already, um, playing though, I'll show you the changes I'm going to make, you know, to do that one combo. All right. So. See, because this already has Amphibious Assault, like all the decks. Like, the Amphibious Assault just should be in every Northern Realms deck now. So, since I didn't show it off before and I just gave you the deck list, I'll kind of go through, slow through here. So, um, you need four points, four provisions. Ooh, that's rough. Um, I wonder if taking out, like, one Ballista would be that bad. It is a mobilization deck, but, uh, I don't think it would be for that combo. Let's see, how can I uh, how can I work this? This one's a little rougher. Let's see, because this gives me two extra points if I take these out. Uh, I want the boiling oil still. Oh, this is like rough because um, 
All these cards are pretty good cards. And you kind of need um, War Machines. I think in this one I'll just uh, have the combo available because it's so powerful. I'm going to take out one Ballista and hopefully that won't be too bad. Alright. And then just because this combo with the um, that freaking Kuwani Knight is just pretty awesome. I think he's like all the way on the bottom. Oh wait, there has him. There he is. It's funny too, because like you never, never, ever run this guy. But um, that combo is like disgusting. Okay, so that is the change for my mobilization deck. And then um, for the Singleton Uprising. <coughs> ah, excuse me. This should be an easy change. Um, I guess the, just the temple. Well, actually the artificer I think is worse than the temple guard. In my opinion. Same deal. Just so you can see the list again. That, okay. And so then the drug soldiers. I know that this deck list um, has um, amphibious assault also. So he's kind of cheeky because he has the Forbidden Magic, Kandwani. Since he has um, the mobilization, you can fetch out a, a, Rev a Revenant. He really likes going off with the Revenants. Um, this is such a great card. It's kind of rough um, cutting one of these guys. Actually, I could cut an Offering because I don't really like Offering that much anyway. I do like the incessant card now. So I'm gonna cut the offering. And then that gives me six points. And we need eight. So we got two point. We need eleven. Oh, what else can we cut? Thirteen, like we're all over the place here. I like the bomb heaver. Um, I'm not as high on forbidden magic as he is, but let's see. Cut one of. Uh, give me seventeen. Alright, my maths my maths is not good here. <laughs> so in this deck I think you can add two of them. As the Brits say, my maths. So that'd be eight. And then you have like a nine point thing to do. Alright. Yeah. So we have a nine point person to add. So this deck is oh, quite a bit different. <laughs> but I think it's worth it. Like that 12 point play is like pretty ridiculous. So that's a good 9 point card we can put in. Matahara is not bad. That would get the drug. Yeah, this gets the drug also. We get Drog or Falibor. She's a consideration. Um, a Purify is not bad. Oh, this guy's 
pretty bonkers in this deck too. That sounds fair. Igneous is a little too expensive. All right. Oh yeah. So this is that legendary. I keep talking about so like the new bomb heaver. This thing's uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna uh, put this guy in the deck. I think he's an upgrade on the girl that does two points anyway. Um, I'm not super hot on her. I guess he's trying to get the most out of Forbidden Magic. He really likes Forbidden Magic. But um, it'd probably be alright with some of the other cards you have in here. You know, Falaborgs and Drogs and stuff. And the Samarial Samar Dagger. But, uh, alright. Or you can just keep it the way it was. It's a pretty good deck obviously and i'm working on some ball decks as you can see i haven't gone very far in it but um okay and then so the last deck we need to change is the singleton tanks deck Oops. and we just need to knock out one card so this should be easy um so i think in this one i could probably cut the temple guard temple guard's pretty situational and the one dude's like an automatic like 12 points if you if you do it off the amphibious assault which i do have in this deck right yeah okay. let's make sure okay so it's cool with the singletons is they'll have the 13 play up point playoff of verdea and then they'll have a 12 point play off this guy so you might be able to take rounds just out of yeah, the strength of those two cards. All right, and uh, just uh, go through real quick if you want to pause on anything here. All right, and uh, that is all the decks, all the Northern Realm decks, and I promise I won't make Northern Realms for a while. I think the next uh, deck series I'll do is um, I'm going to do these double balls that were beating me up. I just haven't found a really good deck list to try to put them together, so I might mess around with like some home brews or something and I, I don't think i'm gonna do the wild hunt ice deck i just don't think it's that good i think if i wanted to play monsters i'm just gonna do that trinet deck because uh that one's pretty sick and i like kiki queen stuff anyway so um oops i didn't do that i just want to delete it i want to delete it So the next uh, Gwent decks are going to be uh, Nilfgaard. And uh, anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.